this is x3t and uh, part c we want to build this signal using this xt well what i do is i try to partition x3t to different parts simpler parts and for each simplify simple part i try to write the expression for that part of the signal based on xt if i can do that then I can build X3 just by adding up all the parts, all the partitions together, and uh, then we will have X3. T. So let's let's do that. If you if you uh, um, look at here, you see this part of the signal. is very similar to what we saw in the previous part part b i mean it's very similar to x2t but x2t was uh, like this let me use green color x2t was exactly like this but the blue one here is so let's say this is x2t the blue one here is like a stretched version or expanded version of x2t okay and if we want to expand a signal over time it's enough to multiply that t by alpha and take alpha something between 0 and 1 okay then we can stretch the signal over time and for this case we want to make a double so it is enough to take alpha equal to 0 0.5 so I can say I can simply say this blue part which is expanded expanded version of x2t is actually x2 of 0.5t okay so well from previous part we know x2t equals x of t plus 1 plus x of minus t plus 1 plus x of uh, t plus x of minus t okay we have that from the previous part so based on this i can say well x of x2 of 0.5 t equals x of 0.5 t i replace all t by 0.5 t plus 1 plus x of minus 0.5 t plus 1 plus x of 0.5 t plus x of minus 0.5t all right uh, so this is for the blue part which is a big part of the signal x3 so we could uh, write this blue part using uh, based on based on xt only two other parts left one is here okay and this is very similar to the signal xt here it is only the expanded version because you see xt is uh, is not zero only for this interval zero to one but here the interval is from zero to two so again this is i can say expanded version of xt isn't it and from what we discussed before we can say x uh this this yellow part we remove those, those things we can say this yellow part is actually x of 0 0.5 t and we have only one part left and that's let me use the uh, and color and that's this part well this is very the, probably the easiest one because this is just the 
inverted version of this part uh, if I flip this yellow part over y-axis here over the vertical axis then we would have this so this is the inverted version and for that it is enough to replace t by minus t so we would have minus 0 0.5 t okay so we have xt this xt uh, has three parts this blue one is part i would say part one and this yellow one i would say part two and the purple one part three okay so i can write x3 here x3t equals part one which is x2 of uh, 0 0.5t plus part two which is x of 0 0.5t plus part three which is x of minus 0 0.5t and it's supposed to write xt based on x t x three t based on x t only. So I should replace this x two t by this here. So we would have x three t equals um, x of zero point five t plus one plus x of minus zero point five t plus one. I'm writing this guys all here one by one so we would have x of 0 0.5 t plus x of minus 0 0.5 t and then we have these two items here x of 0 0.5 t plus x of minus 0 0.5 t okay so if you check you see that this two um, let me use different color what color should we use we use black here okay you see this part and this part exactly are the same and also this one and this one so i can add them up and i can write x3 like this x3t equals x of 0.5t plus 1 plus x of minus 0.5t plus 1 plus um, 2 times x of 0.5t plus 2 times x of minus 0.5t okay and this is x3 based on xt only 